Hello everyone. Now that it's May, it means we're getting ready for the warm weather, the coming of spring, and very soon it'll be time for graduation. Just a few announcements for you this month. The first news to share with you is about the McGuire Scholars Program. This includes the selection of six students this year, three from 10th grade and three from 9th grade. The students involved in the McGuire Scholars Program will be given an allotted amount of money per student to use to support them in their future career or college plans. The money is available for them to participate in meetings, take tests, or other things to support their educational goals. Those six students, the three ninth graders and three tenth graders, will be together as part of the first cohort. We wanted to participate last year, but this year's first selected students will be a combined cohort of ninth and tenth grade. Starting next year in the fall, we'll have a new group of ninth graders and they will become the second cohort. Those ninth graders next year will be supported for the rest of their four years here at PSD. Not all of the students will be able to be involved, but all of the selected students will be supported for the duration of their time here. We're very appreciative to the McGuire Foundation for supporting our students. I also wanted to mention the Transition and Resource Fair. This was a successful event again. We had 30 booths, vendors, organizations, agencies, and partners represented that day. We want to thank everyone involved in the school and our vendors for making it such a successful event. We look forward again to next year. There's always information to share about alumni, and we know that they've been working very hard to make plans for the reunion next year. PSD 2020 plans are well underway. It's very exciting because we had a group including Jenny Strunk, who is the PSD reunion chairperson, as well as her two assistant co-chairs, Marcia Marcelli and Sarah Wummer, as well as myself and our new director of institutional advancement, Lauren Coy. The group of us were able to do a site visit at the old PSD campus in Mount Airy. We went to Mount Airy and met with the people there, and they've agreed to let us use their space and their current campus for part of our reunion next year. I'm sure everyone's excited to see the old property. We also visited our third campus at the University of the Arts. We did a site visit there and they have also agreed to participate and let us use the space next year. I hope everyone's looking ahead to a wonderful time next year for the reunion. You may be familiar with the history that PSD has had five campuses in total. The buildings for the first and second campuses are no longer standing, but the third campus was University of the Arts, the fourth campus was Mount Airy, and our current fifth campus is here in Germantown. You'll have a chance to see three of the five campuses if you participate in the reunion next year. PSD just celebrated our 199th birthday. As part of that celebration, we're looking ahead to next year. This is our last year of this century, and next year we'll start a new century with our 200 years. We're looking forward to all of the events that will make a successful celebration next year. We couldn't do that with all the wonderful support and help from everyone involved. We'll continue to share events and updates with you monthly and keep an eye on our website as well. The other thing I wanted to share with everyone is about the CEASD conference next year. I hope you know by now that we will be hosting it here in Philadelphia. The conference will be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but then Friday afternoon, we'll turn the CEASD conference space into our PSD Bicentennial Gala. It's a huge celebration for the school, so I'm thrilled to be hosting it next year. We've already started making the plans, and I just came back from the conference this year in Denver, Colorado. Being at CEASD this year made me realize how we're coming up very quickly on our turn to host next year in 2020. I also wanted to share an update with you about Gerard Buckley. You may know him as the president of NTID. He has been selected as our graduation speaker this year, as well as our Neville Award recipient. The winner of this award is someone who we want to acknowledge and recognize for their contribution to the deaf and hard of hearing community. So we're thrilled to see Gerard Buckley here on June 7th to honor him with that award. We're also excited that we will be partnering with NTID going forward. We've had a longstanding partnership with Gallaudet University, and now we're adding NTID to our college partnerships as well. We look forward to additional ways to support our students in their college and career plans. I also wanted to let everyone know that the McGuire Foundation, and I hope that you all realize how important that relationship has been to us, 
has recently let us know that they have confirmed to be our premier sponsor for the PSD Bicentennial next year. The premier sponsor means that they will be the exclusive sponsor at the top level. This means that they will be supporting our PSD Gala next year. We are now looking for additional sponsors at various levels below the premier level. There's the exclusive level and various other opportunities to become a sponsor to support the event. Keep an eye out for the information coming about the different sponsor levels and what that includes. We hope that everyone will get involved and get on board to support this momentous occasion. We know that this event not only supports PSD, but also recognizes deaf education. And thank you to the McGuire Foundation for signing on as the exclusive sponsor. We also have our spring drama production coming up. On May 17th and May 18th, our students will be performing in this year's version of 1001 Nights. Feel free to buy tickets ahead of time to come see our students. We've had a lot of hard work from our students and our staff to make the play a success. See you next month. Take care.